Hi guys, HLM99 here. Uh, today I'm gonna bring this tabletop review um, to uh, my subscriber and people that tune into my channel here. And I would, it'd be, it'd been a while, I know, it'd been like a month and a half since I posted the video because of work and because of the political shit that happened going on right now. Um, I just, you know, just don't have the mood to do it. And I'm sorry for that. I know some of you are waiting for me to post some video, but you know, I apologize for not keeping it up on my task because of the distraction of work and family and this COVID bullshit. But anyhow, uh, today I got a good economical, less than $200 deer rifle, coyote rifle, elk rifle, even a brown bear or a polar bear, well not polar bear, brown bear or grizzly bear uh, rifle, the best hunting rifle you can buy right now for less than 200 bucks. And the reason I say that is I'll pay $179.99 at Walmart with a $25 rebate. So I pay $155 for this gun. Well, of course, plus tax. Uncle Sam to take a chunk of it out. But somehow, great gun. And before I go any farther, I want to show some grouping on this rifle. And if you're interested, stay tuned. All right. Start with the best. Federal Premium Nosler Petition 60 grain soft point $29 with a half inch group. The second best group I got, well, I expect this should be the best, but somehow it's got to the seconds. It might be me, but it's very, very consistent on this gun. You see, it's, all my group is horizontally. See that? It's shooting horizontally. So, very consistent guns. Okay? Um, Hornady VMAX 55 grain. I got about an inch and a quarter for 2250 plus tax. Great bullet to own. Uh, good for coyote, good for a groundhog and a wild boar and a groundhog, and also for varmint. And good for varmint, honey. Okay. Comprehensive. And I walk around, you know, Academy Sport. I saw some 223. That was for hunting, 55 grain, federal power shock. So I'll just buy it, shoot it, see what it looked like. And the group on it was about, uh, I would say, inch and three quarter for 20 bucks. Uh, I kind of expect it because the hunting rifle, well, hunting bullet, hunting ammo. So it's not as accurate as a, you know, uh, what do you call it? A, a, a match rifle, a match bullet. Oh, what the hell I'm talking about? A match right uh, uh, bullet. So, and surprisingly, I shot this gun a lot. I put about 300 rounds through this gun, but <clears throat> most people blinking out in the range. Uh, I take my AR with me and took this with me. AR, I have, tr you know, trigger happy. So I go through 30 rounds in less than, I would say a minute, you know. It's not like what, you know, the... Yeah, I've been 47 auto man. I shot 6,000 rounds per minute. Well, no, it's bullshit. Anyhow, uh, Winchester. Well, I would say uh, Military Spec M195 55 grain. Um, full metal jacket, $8 a box. It's only $8 a box, guys. You know, shit. Anybody can pay $8 for a box of ammo for 20 rounds. Voila. Inch and three quarter. So $8 versus, you know, $20. Get the same size of grouping, but you can't use this for hunting. Goose for blinking. This, mainly for hunting. I would, I, I don't think I would use 55 grain for a deer. I don't, I think it's not, I would, I would say it's too light. I use a heavier grain, but people do anyway. Uh, for a quick ethical harvest, I wouldn't use 223. But if you live in Florida, live in Alabama, uh, further south, <clears throat> you know, Arizona, even Arizona, you have a smaller size deer. So 55 grain, it would get the job done perfectly because I've been seeing a lot of video. People have been proving it to me that they shot 223 with deer before. And yes, I shot deer with my AR before and getting the job done, but it takes a hell of a lot of time to track a deer down. 
you know, I got a deer that ran almost 120 yards and, you know, lay down and die. But, you know, I, I would do that myself. If I want to harvest an animal for my own consumption, I want an animal to go down as quick as possible. So, you know, you know, I, I say shot placement is key, but also ammo is also uh, one of the, um, you know, components of getting the job done. Okay, all right, enough talking here of acting the gun. Um, I bought the sling with this gun, so I just throw it in here, you know, un Uncle Mike for ten dollars. Just a nylon sling with the rubber padding and uh, what do you call it, squirrels for ten bucks. You know, can't beat that. All right, I'm done with that one on the side. This gun does come with a box magazine, four plus one. Um, you know, for shit, I would say forty dollars for a uh, per map. I saw the Cabela's. I haven't browsed online yet. I don't know what it costs online. Probably be about $25, $26 range for a magazine. It's a little high, guys, for a magazine. So don't, don't lose one of these. You're going to pay big pockets for, 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 for a magazine like this. <clears throat> um, but let's see what's going to go. All right. The overall length of the gun is 23 inches. Okay. Length of pull is 13 inches. Um, the length of the barrel is 22 inches, so it's a full size uh, rifle length. Come with one and nine twists. All a lot of AR out there can also come with one and nine twists, so you know the one and nine twist rate. And let's see, bolt wise, very, very smooth. Like, but let me take the scope cover out. Um, very smooth. Like butter, which is expect out of Savage. Savage is probably one of the most accurate guns you can get out the box. So, trigger pull wise, factory trigger pull is was ridiculous. It was about nine to ten pounds. Holy moly! I shot it, took it home, uh, watched some YouTube videos, and they you know showed it how to you know um, uh, polish the sears and the contact piece with the bolt and the trigger. I did it. And also cut a couple loop out of springs. I re wouldn't recommend you do it if you don't know how to do it. But I've been done it many times, so I constantly get it, you know, done without closing the bolt and go bang. So um, got it done. Doesn't cost me anything. Just about you know thirty minutes of time polishing. Uh, I top it up with a Zeiss Congress. Conquest. Damn it, Congress. Been watching too many freaking political, you know, election right now. So sorry. Let's say a uh, Carl Zeiss Conquest 39 power made in USA. American made scope. Can beat that. Uh the rifle is also American made, American Walker, American Steel. So that my patriotic started kicking in, guys. American product, American company, and American steel, right? To support American industry, so that will keep America great again, right? Or make America great. Um, uh, price wise, MSRP on this gun is $375, but you can get it used anywhere from I would say $175 to $225. Why you want to buy the used gun for you know for 200 bucks? You can buy it brand new at Walmart for $170, you know, $999. So, you know. We're going to put Uncle Sam on it, plus tax. Um, probably one of the most accurate bolt action that I ever had. Um, I got my old Remington 778. I uh, sold it. That thing is junk. I uh, shot a four-inch group the whole time. I don't know how the hell I, you know. I try. I try, um, you know, to, to shot it good, but... It just never make the grouping that I wanted to make. So I just get rid of it. <clears throat> Sold it for 200 bucks. That probably would be the best decision I ever made in my life. Uh, let's see. Great gun for deer, elk, um, uh, uh, bear, coyote. They make this particular gun a different caliber. Anywhere from 223 uh, to 30 yards, say, so 270. They even make one in six five Creamore. Whoa, Creamore. Yeah, you got everybody going crazy on Creamore nowadays. But I they also have it in, in the six five, but I picked 223 because I have a shit ton of 223 at home. 
I have about 5,000 round 223, so, you know, might as well got me a boat action. I don't burn. With a price of ammo right now, guys, I would highly recommend you to get a, you know, 223 ammo, you know, as much as you can because the price is going to go up. The supply will be short with Creepy Joe. Most likely, look like he's going to uh, get elected. You know, I, I would love to see Uncle, Uncle Donald. You know, back in, you know, in the winning side, but <clears throat> doesn't seem like it. So, <coughs> uh, let's see what else I need to buy. Well, one more thing. This gun is good for backup deer gun. You have one, you know, deer gun with you. You need the additional one just for backup. Great gun you can get on the you know, at Walmart. You know, I would say Academy have it for one ninety nine. So why not less than two hundred bucks? So. I would definitely do that. Um, one of the things that my buddy been laughing at me was I putting a a five hundred dollar scope on a on a hundred and fifty five dollar gun. He giving me crap about it, but I you know I'm okay with it. Um, that what make the gun shoot better because most likely a lot of game animal that I was harvest in the past either came out very early in the morning or very late in the afternoon. So I want a, 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 a scope that is reliable and low light condition, okay? that That's me, that's just me, all right? You can do whatever the hell you want with your gun, but it's just me, okay? So mm -hmm. I, I never use cheap optics on my firearm. Yes, I have a Tasco, but man, that Tasco Classic is probably one of one of the best scope I've ever bought. I don't know why it was underrated. So I'm gonna do a review on that later. Um, let's see what I need to uh, go over. I think that's all I got for you guys. Guys, if you didn't understand my accent, please also ask me a question. Don't tell me to spend more money on in my speech therapy because. That's how I speak, guys. You know, English is my third language, and how I how I speak, I can't really, you know, change it. Um, I, I'm sorry if I if I try to offend you, which I don't give a fuck. Uh, what do you say on what some you know asshole comment on my on my on my on my video say that I have a, a speech problem? Uh, well, that's just me. So um that's all i got for you guys guys please like share and subscribe and plus i never ask you for any money uh like patreon donate i don't need your money i do this totally for hobby so i just would like you to subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up and that's all i may expect if you love me enough please share my video to your friend and family so let's keep america great